situation, but in this case, they're taping off areas for some kind of event. So they need to split it up into six sections like shown. And so let's see what we can do. They're, they're looking for the dimensions to maximize the area. Okay, so let's see what those dimensions would look like. Uh, they've already drawn it for us, so we can just kind of hijack that a little bit and say this is width and this is length. And so um, if we were to figure that out, we could say that there's one, two, three, four widths and one, two, three lengths. And that has to add up to a total of 45 meters. So um, anyways, that's one of our equations, but let's kind of get back into the mode of solving for a maximum here. Um, so the area, and it is just a rectangle really, so we can say length times width, um, again, we have two variables and um, we would like to get it down to one. So why don't we take that original formula and see if we can rearrange that a little bit here. Um, it's certainly not the nicest formula, having a three and a four in there. So neither one of them is going to, uh, in other words, solving for width or length, neither one of them is really obvious. But well, let's roll with it and see what we come up with. Um, let's go minus 4w. We'll solve for the length. And we end up with 3l is equal to 45 minus 4w. And I'll do a little bit of a divot there. We'll divide both sides by 3. And we're left with length is equal to 15 minus 4 thirds W. All right, so um, we can go back to our area formula and we can say let's replace that L with our new equation. So 15 minus 4 thirds W times W. All right, so now we have an equation that we can go and we can plug into Desmos. And again, uh, to show our work from a Desmos point of view, uh, good to draw a quick sketch. And in this case, we have the area is our Y. And again, meters squared. And our X would be our W because we're using this equation that has W in it. Um, good to keep track of that. And a quick sketch of that might look something like this. All right, and from the uh, uh, Desmos, we can look at this and we can say, well, that top, it, there's we have a 40 here, and so it goes a little bit above 40. Uh, we can click on it to figure out exactly where that is. Um, we also see that the x-intercept here is 11.25, and so that halfway point, um, we could divide that by 2 or um, figure out from the vertex when we get to that. So um, at this point, what we can do is we can say, uh, let's identify the vertex because we are looking at the maximum there. So the vertex is um, and 11.25 divided by 2 so that would be 5.625 or of course you can get that um, off of the graph in Desmos and 42.2 and so uh, the maximum area is 42.2 meters squared Okay, good, but in this case, we're mostly interested in the dimensions. So we have our width there, and so we can identify that the width is 5.625 meters. So good, we've got one dimension, but we can't forget that it asks for the dimensions. And so let's go back and how are we going to figure out our length, the other dimension? Um, we do have a formula that we laid out just for length, and so let's plug that in, 15 minus 4 thirds, and we'll plug in our 5.625 because we want it to be the length when it's a maximum, 
And so uh, we already know the width is 5.625 at that maximum. So plugging it in works out well. And we plug that in and we end up with 7.5 meters. So our two dimensions, uh, 5.625 and 7.5. Uh, if we wanted to test this out, in other words, we kind of look at this and we go, wow, there's a, quite a few calculations in there. Let's just double check. Well, one way to double check yourself is just grab that six point, uh, or 5.625, multiply it by 7.5, because that's our width times our length, which should give us our area, right? And so that should give us our 42.2. And if it doesn't, then there's a good indicator that we should double check some of our work. But uh, it checks out for us and we look like we're all done.